the new iPhone 15 will have a new positioning system called the Navic. It was created by ISRO. I have Mr. Panir Selvam with me. He is the Range Operations Director of IRNSS 1A of Navic. So thank you for joining. Could you thank please you. explain in simple terms how is Navic different from other positioning systems? Navic means uh, navigation with the uh, Indian constellation. Uh, in this, uh, totally seven satellites are uh, put in the uh, space. Three are in uh, geostationary orbit and four are in geosynchronous orbit. This combination of satellites gives you accurate positioning of um, um, a person or any vehicle or a, any object, which is having the NAVIC IC uh, chip inside. Uh, NAVIC is uh, supposed to help uh, civilians as well as, uh, uh, you know, uh, military. It has military applications also. So can you please explain that part of this? It has two services. One is called a standard positioning system. It is similar to the GPS, what we have used to so far. And uh, this SPS has accuracy of about 20 meter. And uh, there is also another service called restricted service. It is used by military uh, aeroplanes, ships, and uh, mountaineers, uh, skiers, uh, like that. So, which gives b much better accuracy, and then there can be a tracking also, it is possible in that. This uh, exclusively is a navigation system for Indian region. Uh, this covers um, from the uh, 1500 kilometer from Indian borders in all directions. That means it covers from uh, uh, entire um, Arabian Sea and the countries adjoining Arabian Sea and then uh, entire uh, Bay of Bengal and the countries adjoining Bay of Bengal and um, entire um, Himalayan region and even beyond Himalayan region and also in the south um, half of Indian Ocean is covered that is Mauritius, Diga Garcio up to that it is uh, covered and it is only for the Indian uh, region only. It is not for a uh, globe. Okay. You just told about the coverage of this uh, navigation system. Can you also tell us more about the position and the timing of it? Yeah, the position for a normal usage, it's about 20 meter accuracy. For a restricted usage, um, you, you will get um, up to 1 meter accuracy. And this uh, timing accuracy is 50 nanosecond. 50 nanosecond means 1 second is divided by uh, 1 billion. 1 billionth of a second is called a nanosecond. So it gives accuracy of uh, 50 nanosecond. This accuracy is required uh, uh, for uh, uh, missiles especially. So what uh, motivated ISRO to develop uh, Navic and could you also give us uh, how important it is for a country to have its own navigation system and not having to rely on uh, uh, foreign facilities? Yeah, initially uh, Americans uh, they have uh, um, installed what is called GPS. It is consisting of a number of uh, satellites around the globe and they cover entire globe, each and every bit of globe. And then uh, uh, this uh, Europeans also use the same similar thing and also they have their own uh, uh, limited uh, per usage also. Then the Russians uh, have um, uh, their own uh, GPS system uh, uh, named Glasnost. Then Chinese also have their own uh, navigation system. But uh, all these people have uh, uh, around the world. But the Indian navigation system is only for the Indian region. The need was first felt um, uh, in uh, 1999 during Kargil War. So at that time uh, this GPS service was switched off in uh, Kashmir region. So that is the time first um, uh, government is felt that uh, India should have its own navigation system. Then uh, they approached uh, ISRO uh, whether we can uh, do something on this. Then ISRO has uh, worked on this project because this is uh, different from normal uh, satellite scientific research project because here lot of calculation is involved mathematical calculation in real time so it includes location as well as um, tracking so both involved so uh, this project was initially cleared in 2006 2006 only uh, government of India gave uh, clearance for this project and from 2008 onwards funding started and 2013 was the first launch first launch is it is the 
launch is called Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System 1A, IRNSS 1A, for which I was the Range Operation Director. And subsequently, eight more satellites was uh, launched, and totally nine satellites was put in the constellation by 2016. And 2018, a commercial, I mean, uh, uh, actual service started. The initially, the service was given to military and airlines. And then later, um, 2020 onwards, uh, it is available for uh, general public. I think 2023, this year only, they are, uh, many people started adopting uh, uh, this NAVIC system. Normal peace time, we don't need uh, independent uh, positioning system. We can use any globally available, GPS, GLASNAS also is available on mobile phones, we can use. But in times of war, these services will be denied in the war zone, then you will have a problem. So, because of that, India felt the need that we are, we are interested only in our region, to protect our region. So, it is only uh, where our um, uh, interest is there, only that area only we are covering. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.